Hello there! It's me again, back with another series. This time, we are going to be reading a visual novel about Moonlight Crossing, a visual novel or a game about cute moth girls, I guess. I don't really know anything about it. I just found it. Um, yeah, if just some backstory, it, it, I've spent like four hours trying to be able to record this game for the sole reason, whoops, for the sole reason of I have had some issues with, um, getting a recording set up working. So I couldn't use OBS because I am recording on my backup computer because my main computer is dead. If, you know, just some backstory, I think that by the time this video is released, I will have mentioned that already, that my main computer is toast and dead and everything in between. So I had to find a way to record this so I can get the audio, get the audio. Because for some reason, no matter what I did, I couldn't get this game to record the audio if I recorded it in full screen. But now that I'm recording it in windowed mode, it's working. And I have some good quality. I don't have any background noise whatsoever. You can barely even hear my backup computer. My, my, this, this potato I have here is really quiet. And I have every fan turned off. I'm, I'm, I'm taking off my noise-canceling headphones just to... Stand around, it's complete silence in my room. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> On a night like any other, the fairy Pleone dreams until... Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Oh wait, those two booms. Uh, boom, boom! We'll do two for that one. I actually did three for the one before. I've, re I've read like these first, like five or seven screens like f over 60 times by now because that's how I test to see if the game quality is good enough to be put on YouTube and it is it has been a struggle to say the least <laughs> so I, I know what happens in these like first uh yeah several screens but as you see we have four arms insane because we're a moth I guess moths have four arms that's cool. Okay. Oops. Oh, wait. This game has a back button. Mm, what? I guess I should go look into whatever that was. Right? All dressed up and ready to go. What is... It was a big, fancy pile of metal, unlike any Pleone had seen, stuck in the ground before her. The impact seemed to have created a crater. It's a big thing. Probably a human thing. It looks like it was damaged. Probably got torn off from a bigger thing. I did hear more than one. I bet my sisters have checked in on those, so I guess I'll have to catch Malia, Malia at her house. Hmm, or is that a, hmm, hey Mel, did you find a big hunk of metal like I did? Uh, Pleona, you could say that I did, yes, oh, you could say that I did, yes. I heard three noises, did you know how many pieces this thing is in? There were three larger pieces and some smaller ones scattered about. There was also a human who had passed away. Aw, rip. How did he die? Was he trying to do a suicide rush? I beg your pardon? No, no, no. It wasn't suicide. I believe that his craft's landing gear failed to engage, causing, causing him to crash. Landing gear? Of course, as you can see, it failed to properly descend from the moon without it. From the moon. Dang. It what? It fell from the moon. The moon? The moon! She Pleona agrees for me. The moon? You telling me, Mel, that this thing fell from the moon? Ah, uh, yes, the moon, she says. I didn't know mortals could go to the moon. 
Pleione, they have been doing so for years now. But Sakura never told me about them. Who? My pen pal from the moon. <laughs> ah, yes, the Lagomorph you tell me about. I don't know what a Lagomorph is. Lego what? She's a bunny. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for a Lagomorph is. A Lagomorph is. Never mind. I guess a Lagomorph is a bunny person. But you know, hmm, or, but you know, hmm, it might be possible for you to make it fly again. What? Look at that. We got all starry-eyed, and we have uh, like a hollow and a little star on our scarf or whatever that is. Oh, man, we're, we got stars everywhere. We got star pants. Whoa. Okay. I don't know if she's always starry-eyed, but... I just noticed that. Of course, it would need rather comprehensive repairs first. Oh. Okay, she's no longer starry-eyed. And I think none of us really have the technical acumen to do so. Oh. Wait! I could ask... Kikaya... 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 She's immortal. Maybe she knows about these... Kekakaya. Well, she is technically immortal, but... Yeah, I'll do that right now. Thanks, Melia. You... you are welcome? Always feels nice to walk up the mountain. Kekaya! Or... Kekka! Kekaya! Fuzzy fairy best friend. She's a bird. Kika, did you hear about the? Did you hear the noises last night? Lots and lots of crickets. But that's not what you're talking about, is it? No, a human thing fell from the moon and it crashed in the forest. What? And I have a friend on the moon. You do? And I want and I want to visit them. Hooray! So I need you to fix it. What? Fix the moon ship? I'd love to, but I don't think I can do that. Oh. Oh. But I thought you were really good at magicking, magicking things together. These things are super, super complicated. I mean, you know I could probably do it, but... But? I need some, like, extra help. You have me! I mean, something like a whole bunch of happy, positive, goodwill vibes. Woo! Goodwill? Right! You know, just because I'm a mortal and totally living in here and now, doesn't mean I know how to... I know a rocket engine is... Or I know how a rocket engine is engineered. Oh, really? But I'm super good at magic. I could be all Shazam! And then it would be all... Yeah, I'm super totally fixed. Thanks, Kika. You are the best. So let's do it now. But you know, if I was all Shazam like that, there wouldn't be much of a story, would there? A story? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry about it too much. Look, I'll work on a spell that should put it together again. Just give me magic it together. Ha ha ha! Don't worry about it too much. Oh wait, X. Did I hit X? Oh well. I'll work on a spell that put it together again, probably. Oops. Ha ha! Don't... Don't worry about it too much. I'll work on a spell that should put it together again, probably. But it's gonna be some really strong magic. I need you and some other people to really want you to succeed. My sisters want really want me to succeed. Of course they do. 
But we need some extra special hyper rank limited edition wishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait. How would I do that? Well, obviously, you have to help them with their extra special hyper rank limited edition wishes, too. Oh, yeah. That was so obvious, I already knew it. I know. I can use my power to see into people's hearts to see what my sisters want. Uh, oh yeah, that was so obvious, I totally already knew it. I know I can use my power to see into people's hearts to see what my sisters want. Okay, is this repeating or am I just, am I blind? I keep seeing this again. You can do that? As a guardian of the forest, it's one of my main powers. I'm supposed to use it to see if visiting mortals have bad intentions, but I'm sure this is a good cause as well. That's awesome! Use it to give them the biggest favor they ever have gotten. The biggest favor! I can do it! I can look into their hearts and give them a bigger favor they've... a bigger favor than they've ever seen in 5,000 years. Five thousand whole years? At least that much. We really don't count. Or we don't really count. Woo! That's pretty amazing. That makes me want to make something so cool, it'll be remembered for five thousand years. Or even more, but I totally can't do that with you standing around. So go help your sisters. Yes, ma'am! Five thousand years, huh? Good thing she never asked me to guess how old she was. Hello? Go away! It... Aetna? Aetina? Aetina? Aetna. Aetna. Aetina. 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 I'm gonna say Aetina. Aetina. Hey, Dina says, ugh. What'd you want? What's your innermost desire? You go away and let me nap. You're lying. Can't look yourself? I sure can, but I figured I'd ask first. Pleone concentrated on Aetina, calling on her ability of empathy to look into the deepest reaches of Atina's heart. I see. A wine bottle? Of course. All right, story time, I guess. Story time? So I think it was about 50 years ago. You remember my son, A. Aegon? Aegon. Aegon? A gion, a gay gion, a gayon, a gayon, a gayon. I sure do, he was such a cute boy. Right. Well, as you know, when he finished growing up, he decided to stick to being a fairy and moved away. Yeah, I remember. I miss being called Aunt Play. Anyway, he moved to this item island where he had that he has a vineyard. Anyway, he moved to this island that has a vineyard, and fifty years ago he decided to send me a vintage from there, from the area. Wow, so cool! Except it never got here. What? Why? I don't know, but I think about it all the time. Can you imagine how well that wine's aged if it's intact? I'm not much of a wine girl, but I bet it's exquisite. Yeah, it, it's always on my mind. Really though, let's be real here. It's probably smashed or stolen and drank already. Dang. So it's alright if you just find out what happened to it, really. Okay! So it looks like we're gonna have to find out what happened to the missing bottle of wine. I recall there being a mall from the post service. 
All our mail goes to Melia, so you should ask her if she still has it archived. Gotcha, thanks. I was going to go visit her and find out what she wants most anyway. Hey, wait, though. What? Why do you want me to help out? You know, the thing that crashed yesterday. I'm going to use it to get to the moon. Still on our moon mission. You know, the thing that... Oh, get to the moon. And I need your love and goodwill to power... Oh, to power the magic... Kikakaya is gonna use to fix it. You're really, huh? Does that mean you want to quit being a guardian of this forest? Oh, yeah. Or, oh, right, yeah. I mean, I get it. You really like stars and sky and all. But is your family really not enough for you? I mean,. Well, you and Melia mean a lot to me and all, but I'd figure I'd never give myself or I'd never forgive myself if I gave up this opportunity, you know. Well, if you say so, I guess. Thanks, Etina. I'll find out that what or I'll find that wine bottle for you. Yeah, sure. Brr. Dot dot dot. Looked like a pretty angry face to her. What is Melia? Small one, let not the ravages of wind and weed mar your heart. <laughs> hey, Melly. Ah, Pleone. I can see an image within your heart. Don't you think that's a little... Or that's at least a little bit rude? It's... A book? But don't you have a lot of those? If you have nothing better to do than mock me, I suggest you leave. Sorry. Sorry, but I want to find it for you. Dot dot dot. If you insist, it is a volume of verse written by a former love. That young man who was living with you? Why didn't he give it to you like that pocket watch you wear? The act of pouring one's soul unbarred onto the page is intensely personal and intensely private. He would not let me look until he had finished. Oh. But time took him from me before that could come to pass. Aw. He died? I thought he just left. I do beg your pardon? I would like to know, first of all, why why you feel the need to pry into my business. I, uh, I want to make you happy and to support me. To support you with what? Visiting my friend on the moon. Ah, I suppose it cannot be helped that I should eventually need to take responsibility for planting the seeds of such an idea. Very well. I do not I need or I know not where to where the book is hidden, but I would very much like to see it returned to me. Unread? Got it. Oh, and Atina mentioned something about a letter from the post. Pleone, every letter we receive is from the post. Oh, no, I mean from the post office itself. Or I mean the post office itself sent an apology to her for her parcel getting lost. Oh, yes, of course. Let me fetch it. A few minutes later. Here it is. Hmm. There are a lot of formal apologies here that are both not interesting and not useful. But more importantly... They reported the last known location of the missing item. It's by the Milkweed Forest. That's not far from here. Oh, that's where O Obiron, 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 and Titiana live, right? 
No longer, I fear. Titiana gave her life to protect the... Woo! Give her life to protect the milkweed, milkweed forest from encroaching mortals. Oh, what about Obi-Ron? The loss of his mate, it dwelt rather heavily upon his mind. He left the forest that had been his home to a place I know not of. Perhaps in breaking his pact with the forest, he has also spurned his immortality. Or perhaps he has formed a new pact and serves a guardian elsewhere. Regardless of if you look there, you might find something. Right, thanks, Milia. I'll check it out later. Time to know, or time to let Sakura know I'll be arriving soon. I'm gonna end it there. Until next time, don't forget to like the video if you like it. Maybe even subscribe. Do whatever you want free country and uh until then and until next time on moonlight crossing with the thick cute moth people i'll see you later <laughs>